All right, guys, welcome. We're going to talk about productivity coaching orientation. So um, my goal for today is to really get a, uh, give you a, a very clear overview about the purpose of productivity coaching, um, what the, the model that we're using to coach for productivity coaching, um, our mission and our values, and uh, go through uh, the complete rundown of what the offering package is, and then walk you through some of those specific um, features. Okay, so let's start with the mission. Okay, the mission of the, the Productivity Coaching Program is to create a community of learning-based and purpose-driven leaders focused together on accelerating the trajectory of our businesses and the quality of our lives. <clears throat> Using the powerful leverage of Keller Williams model systems and technology, we intend to create abundant lives for ourselves and for those we support. Okay, so a little bit of background on what's this whole thing with productivity coaching, right? So the idea is, is you've already joined the number one training organization in the world. You've already joined the number one company in Metro Atlanta um, by agent count, by unit sold, by volume. Also the number one company in North America um, in units, volume, and agent count, and the number one company in the world by agent count. And I think that makes a big difference. It's not just who happens to hang, have the most hung licenses. This is, this, is a, um, this is all about value, right? You're a free agent. You can go work anywhere you want just about. And um, the broker's job is to uh, have an exchange of offerings for money, right? We're going to take, uh, we're going to offer you this stuff, whether it's technology, culture, profit share, training, support, et cetera. And in exchange for that, we're going to take a certain amount of money from your commissions. And at all times, you have to determine, am I getting the best value for my money? And we have to determine or we have to confirm that uh, any, any agent cannot go find a better match of value elsewhere. Okay, that's, that's our job as a brokerage is what do, what do our people want? Why do they want it? Show them the plan, hold them accountable, and they will get what they want. Okay. Now, with that said, if you choose to join uh, the office, the, the training and the offering package is phenomenal, okay? And I have every uh, bit of faith that you can have an awesome career that way, okay? However, coaching, predict, particularly productivity coaching, is an accelerator, okay? So the, the, the uh, uh, program that we're modeling this after is the program um, uh, with, with one of our sister offices in North Atlanta. And um, that program, when you compare agents who joined the market center, took advantage of the program versus those that just joined the market center and did not take advantage of the program, we were able to sell homes or we grew our businesses three times faster and three times larger. Okay. So again, productivity coaching is simply an accelerator. Okay. We know that the more accountability you let into your life and the, the, the larger number of supportive people that you surround yourself with the more likelihood, the, the greater the likelihood that you're gonna be successful, okay? So with that, there are a couple of programs uh, that are available just to productivity coaching um, people. So we'll quickly talk that through. Number one is uh, Coal Resource Realty. Um, Coal Resource Realty is essentially a online directory. A lot of agents will use that for uh, circle prospecting. An example of circle prospecting is, let's say you have an open house, you know, 123 Smith Street, and you want to call the 500 people that live closest or 1,500 people that live closest to that address <clears throat> and call them and say something to the effect of, hey, hosting an open house on Sunday, would love you to come. Or, hey, I'm working with a seller, Mr. and Mrs. Jones on Smith Street, and we just listed their home, and I figured you might like to um, have an update about how that listing goes, right? Because when it sells or when it goes under contract, that's going to have an impact on your value would it be okay if I continue to update you on how, with it, with the, how that works, right? Do you want to know when the home goes under contract? Would you like me to call you and let you know what it's sold for? By the way, who's the real estate agent that you work with when you happen to have a real estate related question, right? Um, so that system is normally between $1,000 and $1,200 a month. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. $1,000 and $1,200 a year. That is free with productivity coaching in Roswell. We also have something called Vulcan 7. Vulcan 7 is um, what I have found to be the best resource for for sale by owners and expired listing data. It's updated every day. North Atlanta, uh, North Metro Atlanta, or really Metro Atlanta in general, is where the data comes from. It also includes withdrawn and canceled listings. Um, 
that is um, available. You, we, we, we can share the password and the username and you can use that at your leisure. That is a um, phenomenal resource uh, for agents that want to prospect that way. And many, 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 many people's careers have been built on the backs of helping expired listings and for sale by owners and giving, helping them get what they want. Okay. Um, next, normally that program is about $350 a month. That is free with productivity coaching. Okay. In Roswell. Uh, additionally, we have a program called Ramp Up. Ramp Up is a course that is, uh, was created by a productivity coach out in Austin, Texas a couple years ago. <clears throat> and Ramp Up is an eight week online course. Um, when you join the program, I send you a link so that you can register. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's not free, but it's free to you. We, we, the Market Center pays uh, a small amount for that. Um, there is a workbook that coincides with the program. Uh, workbook is $50. You pay for that one time, and then when you have your first transaction, we give you the cost of that workbook back, okay? Um, and the workbook and the online program work in tandem. There's videos, there's um, uh, Facebook groups, support network, accountability partners, all that. I find that that is a really good um, kind of companion class with either with, with Ignite generally, <clears throat> okay? So it kind of focuses on a little bit different stuff. Um, but both uh, the curriculum for both courses are really, um, really super important foundational pieces. Okay, so um, that is ramp up again. When you when you uh, join the program, when you say, "Hey, I'm in," and you sign the contract, um, I send you all the links and usernames and codes and all that kind of stuff. Um, for right now, um, if you have a desire for a, a list from Cole, you just need to send me the address. Just email me the address. I'll have my assistant look it up and send it back for you. Um, with um, with Vulcan 7, I can give you the password. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Next, the, the group is designed to um, really, so let's say who is a target for this type of program. Okay. A target for this type of program is really anybody that is not on pace for their goals. Okay. I don't care if your goal is to sell four houses a year and you're not there. Or your goal is to sell 44 houses or 144 houses and you're not on track, then you probably need to in introduce some accountability into your world, right? It could be accountability for your uh, personal life or your health. It could be accountability with your, um, with your business life and your habits. Um, because we, what we know is when we identify what the big rocks of your business are, and then we hold you accountable to those behaviors, you've got a far better chance of accomplishing those goals, okay? The more accountability you bring into the world, the better. For example, I want to lose 50 pounds. If I weigh myself once every three months versus once a month versus once a day, I'm going to have a better chance of hitting my goals if I'm weighing myself once a day. Make sense? Because I can yep. see where I'm at. I can take inventory. I can have a reality check, and then I can begin to do something about it, okay? So, as a part of the program, we've kind of divided ourselves into right now two groups. Eventually, it'll probably go back to three groups. The first group is what I would call um, launch. Launch is like zero units a year to about four units a year. Okay, the idea there is that your primary needs are market-based, contract-based, system and technology-based, and flat-out generating leads. Okay. While it's certainly important to learn concepts of, let's say, hiring and these kind of things, quite frankly, you're just not there yet. And there's no, you have more important things to focus on. However, there's plenty of people that sell way more than four houses a year that still need assistance and they don't really care to hear my comments on contracts. And so what I wanna do is give each group, um, we're gonna call that group the growth group, okay? Growth gets a mastermind every week, okay? Launch gets a mastermind every week, and we put everyone together once a week for a mastermind, okay? Um, what I have in mind right now is I've got kind of a number of kind of unique classes, whether it be social media prospecting, high accountability, um, uh, warm prospecting, circle dialing, that kind of stuff, or referral-based, um, based on how you generate leads or where your comfort levels are, we're going to have kind of these pop-up classes periodically on that stuff. Um, the idea is uh, anything that you guys are lacking, whether it be coaching related or training related, I feel comfortable to deliver that information. So now that Bold has basically wrapped up, there's usually going to be one to two classes 
per week that is just kind of on um, either basic skills or something unique to Keller Williams, something like profit share or some type of, you know, today we spent a good amount of time talking about open houses. So there's going to be some teaching components and there's going to be some coaching components. Okay. Coaching component, the difference for a lack of a better way to put it, let's say I walk you through a particular model and I say, okay, go home and complete this. And before you leave, do you have any questions? And you say, no, I, I got no questions. I totally understand this model. And I say, okay, well, you just have to do a little bit more math. So go home, finish it up, bring it in tomorrow. Okay. I taught you how to use the model, but if you come in tomorrow and the work isn't done, you didn't have a learning issue. You had an accountability issue, right? Conceptually, yep. you understood how to do it. Mathematically, you understood how to do it. The problem why you didn't do it is something in your own head. And we have to mm -hmm. figure out what's going on with that, right? Was it a priority issue? Did you forget? Did you not write it down? Did you not have a system to remind yourself? Were you just completely full of shit when you agreed to do it? Like, what was, what's the deal? Why didn't that happen? Because we're gonna make a lot of promises in this business, right? Some to our, mm -hmm. some to our family, some to our leaders, some to our coaches a lot to our clients and oftentimes we don't get a lot of second chances to to um to, to make a promise again if we botch the first one it makes mm -hmm. sense. yep so um uh i'm gonna as i'm coaching you it's going to be a mixture of care and candor okay it's going to be Hey, you told me you wanted to make $100,000 so you can get out of debt, go on vacation, start a college fund, and help your mother pay off her mortgage. Um, what I'm seeing is that you are completely ignoring the plan that we created together that brought you to tears six weeks ago. Yeah. So, a yeah. couple questions for you. This is the care part. Right. Um, is there anything going on in your personal life that I need to be aware of that's impacting your ability to do what we agreed that we were going to do? No. Okay. If so, let's hug it out. Let's talk about what we need to talk about to either get back on track or give you grace so you, you can do whatever you need to do. Right. Right. Um, if you say no, there's nothing going on, I say, okay, I, I have to ask. So I'm not out of place here. Is it still important? To, to start a college fund for your, for your kid, right? Is it still yeah. important to get out of debt? Is it still important to pay off your mom's mortgage? And you say, well, yeah. I said, okay, good to know. Um, what, what do you think got in the way, right? This is not for my benefit. This is for your benefit. These are not my goals. These are your goals, right? So what do you think got in the way? Right? Is it a scheduling issue? Is it a priority issue? Is it a distraction issue? Is it a, um, do you have, it, it, are, you, are you having some emotional challenges? Some, and, and I'm not, no judgment. You know, people go through this stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Life happens. Right. What can I do to help you? Right. Yeah. Right. Let's examine how you spend every minute of your day, if you'll let me, and let's figure out what you're wasting time on and what you're, what you need to double down on. Right. Right. Because, if, we're, if you're not successful, I'm not successful. If you are successful, I'm also successful. So I'm on your team, my friend. Let's get to work. Yeah. Right? We got into this business because we wanted this awesome life. Okay, well, here's what you got to do. All you got to do is call this number of people every day and execute on all the promises you've made. Any questions? Right. Right? Yep. And if you have something pop up in the meantime, which will happen, how quickly... Can you get back on track? Mm -hmm. Right? And believe me, look, um, you're going to get plenty of grace. But if you're way behind on your goals, I'm going to gently tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, um, you asked for accountability and you're going to end up letting somebody down if you don't hit what you told me you wanted to hit. Yeah. How can we get back on track? Right? Yep. You know, for example, if I was your football coach and you were my football player and we go out for the first half of the game and the play we drew up, is causing us to lose. And we go into halftime and we're getting creamed. What do you want me to say to you, Brian? Hey, 
hey, just keep doing the same thing. Everything will be great. No, you're going to get your ass kicked again. It's going to be even worse. Change it up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And if I wasn't there helping you change it up, then you'd be like, wait a second. What's this dude for? See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. That's kind of like a lot of people have not had coaching relationships before. Um, uh, and, and so sometimes it may feel a little strange, right? Um, I have a coach. I've had a coach for a couple of years. And sometimes it feels pretty strange. But my coach's job is to hear what I want, get clear on why I want it, and then straighten me out when I'm lying to myself. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So with that said, that is kind of the difference between coaching and training. So there's going to be some training activities during the week. There's going to be some coaching activities during the week. Okay. The goal right now is to have one-on-ones every month for about 30 minutes each, each person, and about a 15-minute checkup each month. Okay. Um, right now, not, not 100% of the group is not going to desire that, which is fine. Um, if, uh, if they're slipping, please call me. Let's get back on the schedule. Okay. Um, particularly at the beginning, like the, the other day, we spent some time doing the um, economic model. Um, now, you know, basically, I need to speak to X number of people a day. I need to have X number of listings every, every, uh, at all times. And I need to book four appointments a month and take three of those listings. If I do that stuff, I'm, my business is healthy. If I do not do that stuff, my business is unhealthy. And if I intend to have a healthy life, I better fix the business. Makes sense? Yeah. So yep. you, you got to scour the, the, ter- the, the land for people that are going to help you. The good part is, is you don't have to look too far because you've got a community of 40 something agents right now that want to support you, me included, plus the agent mentors, plus Aubrey and the rest of the leadership team, plus the agent leadership council, plus the market center investors, plus the other real estate agents in the market center, plus yeah. URI in general. Okay. Yes. Big network here. Now, the other things um, uh, that we do is we record everything. Um, so everything is updated to the, our private YouTube channel within a day or two, um, with the exception of one of the classes today. It's completely updated right now. So uh, again, when you when you join the commit when you join the uh, group, I send you the link for that. We also have a private Google Drive. I'm going to spend a couple minutes in just a second um, walking you through that. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a couple of WhatsApp groups as well. We have a large WhatsApp group for everyone that is uh, more announcement based. Okay, I usually post the week schedule a, week, uh, a couple of days in advance um, of, uh, of all the sessions. By the way, everything right now is being run through Zoom. It's my private Zoom room, so uh, all of the links are exactly the same. No passwords needed. You can log on from your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, whatever. Okay. Um, we also have. Uh, a help group where everyone everyone from the from the um, PC group is in the help group as well. So if you have any questions about you know where to find something or how to look something up or you have a contract question or whatever, um, that's a good that's a great place to start. Okay, with the help group. Then we have two other groups: one for growth, so the con- the conversations can be centered around things that are most relevant to agents at that production level. And then um, a session uh, or a WhatsApp group with the launch folks, um, which is basically uh, newer agents or agents that are relaunching their business. Okay. Um, the idea, is, oh, and uh, we just kind of resumed a basic skills camp once a week. The idea behind basic skills would be like each week we'd say, okay, well, today we're going to talk about the FHA loan exhibit or the buyer brokerage agreement or the listing agreement or the purchase and sale agreement. Um, We might talk about buyer presentations, scripts, uh, objection handlers, um, seller presentations, these kind of things where we're really focused on like basic skills. Um, And um, in in general, I I feel pretty proficient in teaching just a a wide array of classes, everything from the models to the systems to mindset, uh, different ways of prospecting, leverage. Uh, systems, time management, team building, wealth building, passive income. Um, one of the other things that we like to do and we find is pretty successful is um, really giving you that, that, um, that game plan, right? 
So do this activity today. Go mm -hmm. write 10 homes, go write 10 handwritten notes, go drop off 50 short CMAs in your, in your farm, right? Go look at every home between 300,000 and 400,000 and build today. Tomorrow, 400 to 500. Next day, 500 to 600. Next day, 600 to 700. Let's learn the market, okay? What I have found is there, there's really two things that um, separate the, really, really one. One thing that separates the agents that do significantly better than others is simply, it, it, it obviously desire, right? And tenacity. Yeah. But, but what is probably the biggest factor is coachability. Coachability. If you walk in the door and you say, hey, Melody, where are all the people making money, having fun? And she tells you where they, their office is and you go do that stuff, there's an incredibly high chance you will make money in the path box. If you choose not to do that stuff, it's a choice. If you choose not to do that stuff, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. Right. There are no guarantees whatsoever. Okay. So if you're coachable, meaning you say, hey, coach, what's the plan? You tell me to do this, I'm going to do it. Well, you're going to make, you're going to be a rock star. If you're like, well, I don't, I don't say that to people. I don't call strangers. I don't do open houses. I don't send text messages. I'm not techie. I got no idea what your career is going to end up looking like. Okay. Right. People that make the most money in this industry, and that's not necessarily the end goal for a lot of people, but for a lot of people it is. They're not the smartest people out there. They simply do more of the right things every day. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. And they're systematized. And they have more tenacity than, than the vast majority of people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, when coaching starts, one of the things that we are going to do is take you from kind of this ethereal idea of starting a real estate business to the tactical, this is what I've got to do every single day to be successful. The way that we do that are systems and models. So the conversation would go sim similar to what it went, uh, Brian, the other day, which was how many families do you want to help this year or how much money would you like to make? We go through what's called the economic model. The economic model is the first of four models that are discussed in the Millionaire Real Estate Agent. Um, that model is specifically designed to tell you uh, essentially how many appointments you need in order to hit that financial goal. So if you want to make $100,000, awesome. It ain't going to happen unless you know exactly what it's going to take to happen. Right. Right. You can't just happenstance, randomize your way to that type of income. Okay. We have to get purposeful about our approach. We have to get purposeful about how we spend our energy and our time, who we spend time with, how we follow up with people, how we use technology, et cetera. So the economic model basically breaks all that stuff down to say, I'm going to work with this price range buyer, this price range seller. We're going to analyze our conversion ratios. And the, uh, the byproduct of working that model would say something to the effect of, if you go on 30 appointments this year, you'll hit your financial goal. Let's just say that's the number. Okay. Right. Now we move out over to the lead generation model. Okay. The lead generation model would say, where are all those people going to come from, right? Where am I going to find 30 people that I get to sit at the closing table or I get to go on an appointment with this year? Are they going to be expired listings for sale by owners, people I need at open houses, paper clicks, Facebook ads? Am I going to buy leads, which I do not recommend? Um, am I going to work with um, uh, renters and turn them into buyers? Am I going to work with investors? Am I going to work in commercial? Am I going to work with... Um, People that are getting divorced? Am I going to get work with people that just died? Am I going to work with um, financial planners? Am I going to call my sphere of influence? Right? There's hundreds of ways to find leads. Which ones are the ones that you're going to really become strategic and purposeful with? And then we're going to create a plan. Right? It's called the GPS, Goals, Priorities, um, Strategies, sometimes called the 135, which is basically a one page business plan that we will soon create that says, uh, in order for me to go on 30 appointments this year, I'm gonna need to speak to X number of people a day, and this is how I'm gonna do it, okay? Oftentimes, the priorities for that type of goal depend on lead, listings, leverage, or they depend on appointments, database growth, and personal development, 
So we, we work on those kind of things together so that we have priorities and strategies that if we nail those priorities and strategies, we will hit our goal and everything will be great, okay? So then we now we have a bunch of work we have created for ourselves, right? We have, we have a new model and the model says you got to do this in order to be successful. So then we go to what's called the 411. Okay, the 411 is a document that shows you essentially your uh, what your priority is um, this is a 411 i've shared the 411 with you guys um, and i share it with you every week this is just my personal one so these are my annual goals okay the section is split up into job business personal financial and personal okay has my annual goals up top it is then mathematically broken down into my monthly goals. So if I need to go on uh, 240 appointments this year, I need to do 20 appointments each month, okay? Then it is broken down into four weeks, okay? So at the beginning of the month, it would look like this. And this is my priorities. These are my priorities, right? So this is in front of me at all times. And my day is built around executing on this stuff. If this gets done, everything is happy. If this does not get done, I don't know if I'm going to have enough money in the bank. Right. So that's the point. If you don't know what your priority is, then you naturally do something which does not serve you, which is you go look for everyone else's priorities because you don't know what the hell to do today. Mm -hmm. Right. And that comes, you find other people's priorities in email, direct messages, text messages, um, Instagram, um, uh, the water cooler, right. right? Fiddling around with some website no one knows exists. <laughs> I, I'm just being straight with you. Yeah. I'm just being straight with you. And then you wonder where the day went. Right. And then you wonder why you're not on track. You're not on track because you don't even know what you're supposed to focus on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to minimize the number of days between the day you sign up to KW and certainly with me and the day you have this nice and pretty and ready to stare at every day because this will tell you what you need to do. Then once we have this, the final place that information goes is into the calendar, right? Because now I got a bunch of stuff that I know I need to get done every day. So when is it going to get done? Is it going to get done before lunch, after lunch, right? How many appointments am I going to have to hold every day and what times are those going to be? Right? Am I, do I pre-put those into my, into my calendar? Before we start adding things to the calendar, um, the one thing would suggest that we um, put our uh, time off into our calendar, right? Are we, are we taking any time off with our family or for ourselves or we need to take uh, religious days off or um, do we have any other uh, work commitments or do we have any other family commitments or you know, do we have to go visit family, whatever it may be, block that stuff out block out whatever time you need, probably on a weekly basis for planning purposes, right? So every mm -hmm. day for probably an hour or so, I just kind of take stock of my previous week. How am I doing? Am I ahead? Am I behind? Where did I, what did I do well this week? What did I do poorly this week? What did I learn this week? What am I going to start doing this week? What am I going to stop doing this week, right? And I look over my goals and I say, well, damn, I'm behind. So what extra hour that I'm not used to working am I going to have to work to catch back up? Because I'm serious about this stuff. Because yeah. I'm really a naturally competitive person, but I'm also on stage, right? Y'all are looking to me to model this type of behavior. Absolutely. And not only do I have the, the market center, is my, is my behavior and my execution, does that put the market center at risk? I, I don't want to say at risk, but do I have the ability to impact it's the best interests in a positive yeah. way or a negative way? Do I impact the, the agent leadership council, the, the leadership team, the owners, my, my students, my family, right? People yeah. are watching and I'm, I'm, I don't want to let them down. Right. And I want to nail yeah. this role so that I can help more and more families. Does that make sense? Yep. So, um, that's, that is uh, kind of the, the path between walking in the door and saying, I want to make a hundred grand and knowing what to do at 11 o'clock every day. Okay. 
So that is, uh, we're gonna spend a little bit more time at the beginning of the relationship together where we're not like watching the clock so much and we're really building out these models for each of you so that you know how to excel. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we've covered uh, WhatsApp, Google Drive, um, Cole, Vulcan, YouTube, recording everything. Okay, normal schedule is 8.30 to nine every morning, Monday through Friday. Um, very few exceptions, like tomorrow I'm off, but um, uh, we have a little huddle. Purpose of the huddle is really to create energy in the morning, to celebrate those that need celebration, to console those that need consoling, to uh, drop a little no learning nugget on you, to have a little conversation about something that's relevant in the marketplace, uh, maybe share a quote, you know, li listen to people uh, as needed, right? Um, we haven't been fantastic about this, and, and part of that is on me. I'll take full responsibility for that. But in a perfect world, what I would like to do is have everyone stay on the call until 11 o'clock. And what I would like for you to do at nine, from 9 to 9.30, I leave and go to the leadership huddle, um, which we do every morning. At 9.30, I come back. And from 9.30 to 11, with very few exceptions, I'm generating leads myself, right? So I'm um, people that are in the market center that aren't in productivity coaching that probably need it, or I'm calling people outside of the company to expose them to what we're doing here to see how I can help, okay? Um, so that I'm modeling that behavior for you, you and your peers. Now, in a perfect world, we have a bunch of people in the little you know, room. You can turn your video off, you can turn your sound off, and you're just making your calls. And whenever something cool happens, you just type in the chat, hey, booked an appointment. Hey, got this one. Hey, I just got this objection, what should I say? Right, there's just a little environment around where people are encouraging each other to continue to stay on task. Right. Yeah. Um, and then generally each day there's at least one activity that's happening. And the rest of the time is, is full of one on ones and, and planning and, you know, strategy sessions and recruiting appointments and that kind of thing. That's how I spend, that's how my time is spent. Okay. Um, the cool part, um, as, as I'm sure anyone that watches this video would know, is um, I'm ultimately paid when you're successful. Right, it's unlike most coaching where you write a check and whatever happens, happens. Um, you're essentially paying, when you pay people, generally you're paying them for their time, right? This yeah. That opposite. So you come in, you get the time, you get the offerings, you get the technology, you get the support, you get the training, et cetera, coaching, whatever. You get all the models and systems and handholding. And when it works, meaning when you have a deal that closes, that's when you pay, okay? Um, what my vision for this group is, is this is where people come who are um, serious about getting their business launched, serious about getting their business relaunched, or serious about um, having an awesome quality of life, right? Yeah. And everyone's yep. opinion is going to look different. I mean, the other day when we had our three people, you had three different goals. Yeah. About three different results. And I'm not trying to make you into the next guy. I'm not trying to make the next guy into you. I want to I want to focus on what you want because there there's some type of emotion behind that, and I want you to fulfill that emotion, right? Right. Um, uh, some of the reasons why people will fail is um, quite frankly because they just flat out won't do the work, right? Mm -hmm. The more people you speak to, the better you'll do. If I, if I don't have a date on Saturday night and I want to have a date on Saturday night, if I ask one girl and she says no, I, I won't have a date. If yeah. I ask 100 girls, somebody's going to say yes. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yep. So how bad do you want to date? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? How badly do you want to secure a listing this week? How, what, what degree or how many phone calls are you willing to make? to secure a listing agreement before this time next week. Totally up to you. Some people right. get, most people get into this business because they don't want a boss. The problem is, is they don't want to even be their own boss a lot of times. Mm -hmm. If the people who are willing to take that responsibility and do ask for and, and take value from that accountability will absolutely clobber this business. Absolutely clobber it. Okay. Yeah. We have agents that are making over a million dollars a year in commissions and they are yeah. not 
uh, uh, no offense to any of those people, but they're not necessarily the smartest people in the building. Right. They just did more of the right stuff. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. All right. I'm going to share my screen with you real fast. And um, we're going to go through this um, Google Drive for a second. And uh, I just want to make sure that you and anyone who watches this can kind of see some of the things that we are, um, that we have in here. So you don't have to wonder what's going on. Okay. Okay. All right. So I would encourage everyone to look through this Google Drive. You got the link in the welcome email. Okay, most of this I have kind of organized into um, folders, some of which I haven't gotten there uh, quite yet. So we have some business planning tools. Okay, um, we have uh, some, some kind of curriculums from business planning clinics um, that review the different models. I'd highly suggest that you look through that checklist. Um, a lot of the stuff in this is um, coming from me and, and the uh, tools and systems that I either stole or created over the, the course of me building my business, okay? This is not the only way to do it. I'm just giving you a hint, okay? Mm -hmm. so this is, for example, a, a list of all the tasks that you need to do in order to execute a buyer contract or really a buyer from very, very beginning to very, very end, okay? Yeah. Um, same thing with a seller. Okay, and we've reviewed those in some videos lately too. Um, daily stuff, I called this. This is a uh, sheet that has, um, I believe I have this in doc file, so you can edit it according to, you know, what your, what your goals are on a daily basis. So this, for example, has um, a list of things that I want to do every day. So did I, number one, open command? Did I review my goals? Have I done any social media activity? Have I reviewed my pipeline? Meaning, are there any hot leads that I need to touch today? Did I do my one thing? Did I track my numbers? Did I make my appropriate number of contacts? What is my one thing for the day? Have I set my three appointments or however many appointments you need to set? Well, how many people did I contact today? How many people did I add to my database today? How many appointments did I set? How many listings did I take? Any reflections? What went well today? What could I improve today? It's just a sample of something you could have in front of you at all times that will help you confirm that you're on track, right? Yeah. If I want to ask you to track your numbers, you don't, it takes you literally three seconds rather than two hours. Right. Right. See, tracking numbers, oh, and by the way, we send out a, um, a link, it's always the same link, okay, um, uh, uh, to track your numbers each week, okay? So we, have a, we do it week by week, and then we sum everything up for the month. Okay, um, I announced kind of what the goal is at the beginning of the month. This month, it was to go on 17 listing appointments and take 13 listings. At the end of the month, with, with about, let's say, two and three quarters of, uh, a little bit more than half of the month being reported, um, we are at 17 listing appointments and 10 to 10, which is a little low on the conversion. So what do we know? It's probably a scripting issue, a presentation issue, a projection handler issue. Perhaps the person wasn't quite ready. Right, so right. If we go on, the more, better we'll get at it. Right, this is just another tool for weekly and daily uh, keeping track of goals and stuff. So I've just got a bunch of stuff in here that that would hopefully um, assist you as you're as you're as you're going through. So we we know we I ask you to track a number of things each week. Okay, uh, I'm not looking at the actually I can look at it real fast. This is the tracking page. Okay. For, let's just look at the, the month of, uh, or the week of May 18th through 24th. We are tracking, and it has everyone's name in the program down here on the left. It's uh, two colors, okay? The light green is goal, and the light gray is actual. So at the beginning of every um, period, or at the beginning of every period, you basically report your actual numbers from the previous week and your goals for the current week. The goals shouldn't just be haphazardly chosen. They should reflect what your, what your sheet tells you you need to do to grow your own unique business, right? So yeah. I'm tracking um, for each person. It's public accountability. So if you are late to reporting your numbers or your numbers are lousy, everyone sees it, right? 
Um, if, you're, if, you, if you don't really participate, people know, okay? Um, and what we try to do is we track um, actuals versus uh, goals, okay? And that helps me identify where we have gaps. So let's just play this out real fast. Let's say we book 10 appointments and we hold three. We have a, we have a, we have a problem. We have a coaching opportunity, okay? If we go on 10 appointments, and we secure three listings, we have a problem, but it's a different problem. Mm -hmm. Different set of solutions, okay? If we take 10 listings and we sell only three, we have a new, now a third problem, right? With a different set of solutions to address that problem. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time I see trends and tendencies, whether they be individual or whether they be uh, group-wide, I can identify and say, hey, this person's setting too many appointments, but they're not going on them. So what, let me dig deeper here, right? So this is kind of a report card that would help me indicate whether we need, quote unquote, further testing, right? It's like if they drew your blood and they saw there was a cholesterol issue, they may order another round of tests, mm -hmm. right? But if, if, you're, if your numbers are within the appropriate range, they say, hey, Brian's good. He doesn't need that extra test. See what I'm saying? Right, yep. Then we get an opportunity to, um, so in the, in the green at the beginning of the week, light green, you put in your goals. Gray, you put in your actuals a, a week later, and then you fill out your goals for the next week. Okay, then we calculate all the stuff in um, how everything adds up. We are tracking hours of lead generation. We're tracking hours that you practice. Either you're going to practice with your peer partner or accountability partner or the wall, or you're going to practice on your client that probably took you a long time to earn. So I don't recommend that you practice on your client. Yeah. That's like LeBron James. Do you think he practices before the game starts or do you think he just wings it? He's practicing all day. <laughs> all day, all night. That's right. Okay. We're gonna track how many hours you're spending in command. We're gonna track how many contacts you have. Contacts is a two-way real estate related conversation. Um, I am willing to count a, a two-way uh, text or direct message or a uh, poke or whatever, okay? As long as it's two. Sure. Database plus, that's how many people did you add to your database this week, okay? Total appointments set, that would include buyers and sellers. Total appointments held, obviously buyers and sellers. Listing appointments held, that's only sellers. Buyers will come from sellers. I want you to focus on getting seller listings. That's listing right. appointments held versus listings taken. That's seller listings. Contracts written is when you submit an offer. Pendings are when you go binding, when you have a binding agreement, a fully executed binding agreement. Units sold are the actual closing takes place during that time period or during that week and how much money was earned. So for example, let's say this week I put a deal under contract and it's pending and next week it's still pending. You don't write another one. You only write stuff that happens during that time period. Follow okay. that? Yep. Okay, then I'm tracking how we're doing across our goals. Okay. Um, and then I'm also tracking uh, month over month. So for example, we are a little down in total appointments held month over la this month over last month, but we're twice as many as we had back in March, right? right. So here we have, uh, last month we went on 21 listing appointments to take 11, now we're at 17 to take 10. So our percentage is a, a hair better, we just need to go on more appointments, right? So then I can say, oh my gosh, my people aren't going on enough listing appointments, I need to talk to them about listing appointments. See what I'm saying? Yeah. How you track these numbers is not for uh, just to create work. This is to figure out what hurts and fix it. Okay. D2, D2 this is a method of um, uh, contacting people in your database in a systematic way. So this is essentially a way to say, I'm going to contact everyone whose last name starts with B as in boy, E as in Edward, W as in Wilson, 
and uh, it eliminates call bias where you might say, well, I don't want to call that person because they might be mean or they may forget who I am. If their last name starts with that letter, you just do it, okay? So that's a, a map to show you what date to call what person. GPS, here's uh, one of the tools that I was showing you earlier or talking about earlier. This has some examples of 135s or GPSs. Um, I showed there's a blank one in here. There's one from Gene Rivers. There's a new agent example. There's an experienced agent example. There's one that I wrote for my assistant. There's one that I wrote for profits here at one point in time. So that's all in there. Um, we also have uh, the material for Ignite 2.0. We have some intake sheets, buyer intake sheets and seller intake sheets. Those are basically uh, sheets that you should have by your desk every, every time you're on the telephone because in a moment's notice, you could have a, oh, this sounds like a buyer. And then you want to be able to ask right. questions. Or, oh, oh, you're starting to sound like a seller. Hang on. <laughs> Let me grab my sheet. I got a couple questions for you, right? Here's some information on the millionaire real estate agents, models, and systems. Some stuff from the one thing, some examples of the schedules, some script books, uh, some information about shift, um, and some things, uh, everything from bulletproof <laughs> schedules to some information on command, economic models, uh, 15th of the month protocol, some um, uh, business models, opportunity map. Um, some ideas on how to generate leads, a roster, um, a seller information sheet, a thank you script, virtual open houses, some prospect ratios, just a bunch of stuff that I've found that agents are getting some value from, okay? Um, one thing I forgot to mention, which we're, we've kind of just started to do, um, but it it's, uh, seems like it's been pretty popular, so I'm going to continue to do it as much as I can, which is um, uh, bringing on a guest. My intention is to bring on a guest probably every week to two weeks and just talk a little bit about their story, their experience, okay? Uh, so for example, our guest last week was uh, Carrie Veal. She's a previous Rookie of the Year. She's currently on the Agent Leadership Council. She is our number one individual agent thus far this year. Uh, she came in and talked about her values and her uh, kind of her journey and as she built her career and like kind of how her mindset has evolved and what she's taken from being affiliated with Keller Williams and all that. Tomorrow we have Robin Lemon, who's a longtime Agent Leadership Council agent, one of our top agents. Uh, her and her husband have a team, and she's going to be talking about buyer's agency. So that's tomorrow from 11 to 12. Um, and my goal is to bring people on that um, have, have really mastered certain things, right? Maybe somebody right. really um, excelled at open houses, or maybe somebody's really excelled with. Um, uh, I don't know, Spanish speaking people or home buyer seminars or to, uh, really had a great rental system or really had a good, um, you know, system on um, vacation properties or whatever it may be, right? And they come in and they share their story and they share what they've learned and what they've, uh, how they've spent money well and not spent money well. Maybe somebody that has an assistant, how that all happened. Um, me personally, I've had a virtual assistant for a little over four years now, and um, she's essentially my, my second brain, right? Mm -hmm. And she knows my business in and out, and she's watched me from um, owning a, uh, a real estate team to kind of leveraging myself out of that a little bit, to really focusing on profit share for a little while, to helping me when I was the team leader, to now helping me when I'm the productivity coach. We started a virtual assistant pro, uh, company together um, where we can provide virtual assistant services to, to, to local agents or to any agent really. Um, and so she's watched me create these opportunities and no matter what I happen to be focused on, there's always an 80% to that work and always a 20% to that work. And my job right. is to find the 20 and do the 20 and her job is to do the 80. Makes sense. Yeah. And remind yeah. me to do the point. Right. <laughs> Bill, what you do today, I'm doing this. Any questions? Yeah. That's <laughs> that's what I want. Hey, don't forget to call your mother in law. It's your birthday. Right. And she messes me at eleven o'clock. Hey, you probably forgot. But it's still your mother in law's birthday. Do not forget to call. Her. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. 
in short, that's kind of the productivity program. That's a mixture of the mission, the offerings, the, um, the community. My goal is to um, help agents catapult their business. Um, what I have found in the thousands of conversations I've had with, with people just like yourself or people getting into the business is they pretty much all get into the business for the same reason. Okay. And that is to have the, a better quality of life. Yep. I want more yep. money, more options, more time, more flexibility, and the biggest of all is more control. Yep. So when you walked in and you signed the papers with Keller Williams and Roswell, now we have a now we have an obligation. Which yeah. is our obligation is to figure out what you want, why you want it, show you how to get it, and keep you in check. Yeah. <laughs> However, we can't want it more than you. Right. If you got a problem, you got a question, be resourceful, raise your hand, say you don't understand, say you got a question, and let's help you get past this. Right? Yeah. Nothing makes yep. me happier than watching somebody that I've had uh, a, a, a relationship, big or small, with, you know, go out there and crush it. Right? Yep. I mean, I, I worked with Carrie a lot when she was a brand new agent. Now she's rookie of the year. I'm not saying yeah. I have you know, maybe this much. Right. But, um, you know, we become, we become friends over the years, right? Yeah. So with all that said, that's the goal. That's the goal is I want you to um, come in. I want you to be resourceful. I want you to take advantage of all of the offerings that we have. I want you to be a contributor in the community. And when you make uh, when you make deposits for the people at the office and the community, uh, you will be able to soon make withdrawals. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Was that? Um, uh, and, and I think in one of the previous orientations, I spent a lot of time talking about the the uh, the spreadsheet that the MRE two models. That yeah. We, with yep. Model That's on. the video that I watched. Yeah. So, so um, I didn't focus on that too much today. Um, it's just a good overview of coaching, PC, Keller Williams, and the whole package. So, uh, yeah, if you're good, we'll call it a day. Yeah, I, I was glad to to go over the Google Drive because there's some things like there's so much in there that I mean I I missed a few of the things. I mean even like the the new new agent kind of like daily tasks, and uh, so yeah. that that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna open that up. Um, there's some good script books in there as well. So, yeah, um, yep. I've opened those up. <laughs> so we, we will be going through some of those. I, I got to get some, uh, a couple of people that I know to, to go over those with, but cool. yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to get started on that. I did want to ask you, um, I see like the daily classes of bold pivot and then ignite. Is it, is it worthwhile to do both of those at the same time or should I just, <laughs> well, uh, so bold pivot just ended today. Uh, okay. that, that was occurring. That was a month long class started on May 5th, I think, and just finished okay. today. Um, and they just announced that it was going to start again, middle of July. Um, okay. so I could just go ahead and finish ignite. Um, if you need to catch up with those materials, those materials are in the folder. Um, okay. and then bold pivot, um, was a paid for class is ninety nine dollars. Um, okay, and uh, I'm sure you'll hop on that back in July. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, so ignite. I mean, isn't that isn't that uh, finishing up soon as well? Yeah, I think I know. I did see next week, I believe. Okay, I saw a bunch of the videos and I started watching one of them, um, and I you know, life happened. I got busy with other things and I have someone, uh, vying for my attention right now. So, um, all right. Well, they, but I'm, I, uh, um, one thing that you're going to find when you're, when you're speaking to me is, um, I am a, a, a true believer in God, family, and then business. Yep. And so my, um, you will not hear a lot from me about more and more and more and more and more. It's going to be, yeah more of what you said you already wanted yeah and don't give me some low number when i know you're capable of a hell of a lot more than that yeah exactly okay 
So, and then, uh, and, and all that we're doing here is so that we can have enough money to have enough freedom to do what we want when we want to do it with right. what we want to do it with. Yeah. And not feel yep. guilty about it. Right. Beautiful. So. Thanks for letting me uh, stay on my soapbox for 59 minutes. I appreciate it. Thanks for the time. <laughs> Enjoy your day tomorrow. <laughs> All right, take care. All right, man. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.